Leon, yeah, I guess uh, you can say it's our home away from home. Uh, being back at uh, home base with all the facilities we we're used to is um, always uh, always good. So yeah, it's good to be back in Leon. How valuable did you find that training block? Oh, huge. Uh, we sort of talked about that was our time to really get some gains and you know in our, phys in our physical uh, physical state and also our mental state where we can get away from the game but also get uh, the work done in areas that we needed to improve. So that uh, border week was uh, quite vital in uh, in uh, this uh, campaign for us. So. Mm. Yeah, I think the refs are doing a good job at rewarding uh, players who are clearly winning winning the ball and you know getting clear lifts at the ball. I'm still trying to get my first um, first jackal, which is uh, quite niggly, but uh, we'll, I'll, we're, we're working on it as, in this team and uh, I've got some good boys around me that we're actually putting in some extra work around that area so we can actually um, help the team in, uh, in those areas on the field. So, um, yeah, I think they're doing a good job around officiating all that. So. Team on the rise, on the improve over the past couple of years, I suppose. What, what have you sort of noticed about their game and, and where they've taken it? I think um, I've, I've played them a couple of times, and I've, I've seen them how how fast they've improved. Uh, the two main things is their, how quick their ball, they recycle their ball, and also uh, they're they're good at engaging engaging defenders and uh, passing at the at the line real late, um, opening up holes so players can go through. So. Um, they've they've come a they've come a pretty good way. They they've always were good, but now I think they're a team where, you know, you've 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 got to put your best foot forward against them because they're playing some bloody good footy. So, uh, looking forward to you know to the matchup against that uh, against them. But um, yeah, it's it's we got to respect them. They're a good team. Uh, massive games. Um... I guess um, those are the kind of games the ones I'm keen to watch. So uh, when you watch kind of games like that, you just kind of think back to yourself and your team and just try and get your team ready, prep yourself ready for the next games that you're playing and hopefully put on performances like they're playing as well. So yeah. Yeah, always when you're watching games like that, I guess, um, I guess us as um, players, you know, we want to put the best performance out as a team and we know we can. So I guess when you see matches like that, you just get excited. So yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, uh, we feel for Australia. You know, at the same time, we know the task at hand for us, and you know, as a team, we're focused on that this weekend. So, we're excited for the matchup. And, you know, the, we've got to respect the Italians, like Bolt has been saying. So, yeah, excited for it. Bolt, what did you think watching that Ireland South African game? Was that kind of standard to expect? That's what fans <laughs> fans love to watch games like that. Two um two great teams going at it, and also there were some moments in that game where. You know, you, you would hold your breath for uh, longer than usual in those moments. So those are the games, even as players, you know, we try to watch those games and, you know, sort of try watch it as a as a player and get some, you know, some uh, detail and see what they're doing. But it's hard to not turn into a spectator and, and actually be on the edge of your seat watching those games because that's how rugby should be played. You know, how the game flowed so well. Um, there, no, you know, there was no calls around head highs or shoulder to heads or anything. It was clean contact and it was it was fast ball as well. So those are the games uh, I love watching and um, and I think everyone can agree on that. Do you find that inspiring? Do you think the group finds it inspiring? Yeah, yeah, 100%. And, you know, if you want to play with the best, you've got to play at that level. And um, we've, sh we've shown it through glimpses uh, throughout the year and um, and this is where you need to do it because this is the tournament we all you all want to perform at. So we know what the standard is now, and uh, we're just we're pretty excited coming off that uh, off that bye week to really really show what we got and, and the level we want to play at. Mark, it's been a couple of weeks since you played in the premier game, so can you get your feet ready to get back out of the park? Yeah, of course. Um, uh, when you're not playing, you prep the team the best way you can, and you know. When you're not playing, man, it's tough, eh? But at the same time, you cheer the, the boys on and you root for them the best way you can. So uh, I've had a few feet and um, I'm excited to get back out there for, and just play some good footy. Yeah. What did that first game tell you about the intensity of the World Cup rugby and perhaps the pressure to use your head? 
no, it's always been talked about it before we even came. Um, and I have a lot of experience on our team, and I guess a lot of the older boys are saying, you know, World Cups are different. You know, um, that first game showed it to us, and you know, you take that on the chin, you move on to the next, and that's at least the next matchup. I know the boys, you know, we're, we're working real hard on what's important for us and as a team, and we're just going to take those big rocks and you know, put the performance that we feel like is going to be the best for us. Yeah. Nah, it's good with um with Ethan coming in. He's always been a class player, and um, you know he he's probably one of the most professional uh, men I've I've probably met in my in my career, training wise. He does everything by the book, and he and he does extra. But uh, yeah, last week um tested a few boys um uh, tested a few boys at the ruck and all that, and you know some of the boys got a bit of a bit hot headed. But you know that's the good thing about uh those weeks where you know you can sort of practice and and put that that sort of stuff to the test and. We've all come out better for it, and uh, we needed a we needed a, um, a training week like that. So I think the boys have uh, put in the work, and we've come out uh, on top. So we're good. Um, Joe's um, he's put in a lot of work for us, you know, mostly our backs, our forwards. You know, he always um. Helps us a lot in our ball carries, um, our contestables, all those like little details that you know other teams or players miss. And you know, um, he's massive. He's I would say Joe knows more than <laughs> other coaches. Eh? He knows like the names of players and stuff like that. So when he talks about information, he knows a lot of information. If you have, if you have a conversation with him, you probably know your name more than he knows you. So yeah, he's, he's a buzzy man to get around. So. He's the goat. He's yeah. one of the goats, <laughs> and um, and I think the coaching world. Yeah. Uh, he he knows. He has a lot of knowledge of the game, and um, especially for me and Mark when he came into our super team last year, um, he was a real difference maker, and he did he did wonders for us. And coming to this environment, he's he's added his flavour, and all the boys can feel it. So you can't really explain. No, it's just uh, he'll probably even riff the game if you want. Yeah, to he it, could. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's awesome. Yeah. He's awesome. He's good to. Uh, Oh, we love it, eh? I think it's a, it's been a pretty cool environment to come in, and just their facilities as well is uh, is world class, and it's been so easy to get amongst um, Lou Rugby and um, get involved uh, with with our trainings, and also just mentally getting away from the game, just going around the city. I think the city sort of really opened their arms to us, and you know, everywhere we go, everyone's so inviting and and loving towards us, and it just makes it that much easier being away from home and. Everyone, but everyone, so you know, makes us feel comfortable here. Anything we need, we uh, they always got. So uh, this place has been uh, uh, doing wonders for us, and we really feel like we're at home. So did you improve here? Like, did you yeah, a bit too much actually. Yeah. Um, I've I've gained a bit of uh, a bit of extra weight, but um, it's uh, it's it's good. Um, I think all the boys are loving it. Uh, we've got a, a chef that's come in, and um, a Wallace, and he's been doing uh, he's been doing awesome things. Um, you know, cooking up awesome feeds and also feeds from back home that you don't, wouldn't really think uh, people would have here, but it's making it a little bit easier for us to transition into food here. But um, yeah, the food's been awesome. Loved it. Well, well, it doesn't sound very French. Oh, he can. Yeah, he can speak French. Right. Yeah, he's a Kiwi uh, Kiwi uh, boy, but he can speak uh, fluent. Oh, he's fluent in French, so he's been teaching a few of the boys some uh, words. <laughs> Even though we all suck, probably as we get French, but we're trying. Um, Mark, um, a, a number of pundits, people around the game, are saying that Ireland is probably a first, I think, is the first coach in the entire time. Uh, as an All Black, when you hear something like that, how do you, do you have a wry smile, or is it a bit of motivation? Um, like I said um, in the beginning, we're just going to focus on Italy. Um, kind of like Stormy says in traps and stuff. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have possum and rats. I got cockroaches in my house. Like so. <laughs> nah, we're just gonna we're just gonna focus on Italy, and that's the main focus for us right now. We're getting too ahead of yourself, you know, focusing on other games. But Italy's you gotta respect them. You know, the Italians they love playing rugby. You can see it, playing some good rugby, and we just gotta focus on that. Yeah.